he's gonna drink some fruit punch. Hi guys. Me too. Welcome to our YouTube channel. And today we're filming another video. <sighs> yes, we're gonna be filming about careers. Thank you for um, turning into our channel. Thank you for clicking the video. Muchas gracias. For our day one loyals, we are grateful that you're here. Um, we hope you enjoy this video. Welcome. This video is going to be going to be about careers. It's career day. Career day. <laughs> no, it's not. But we want to talk about this because we are. We still don't have our set careers yet, especially my wife. I'm kind of on track towards my career, but you know, I'm still in school. <laughs> um, and uh, so we thought it would be wise to let you guys know about our struggles and what we've learned through through our experiences. Yes, uh, yeah. Uh, if you feel like you're undecided about your career, if you feel like you're lost, if you feel like you don't know where you're going, if you feel confused, if you feel like you're on a dead end with, with your career, this video is going to answer some of your questions and it's going to motivate you to move forward or look in another direction or to just sit down and contemplate and think about where you want to be, where you want to go, what you want to do in the future. Uh, so welcome to a new video. At least that's what we hope. Yeah, that's what we hope. So, all right, so let's let's start. Well, you guys do know this is not alcohol, it's fruit punch. <laughs> fruit punch. Mm, that's delicious. You have to aerate the fruit punch. <laughs> we honestly don't know how to drink wine or anything like that. So. <laughs> We don't drink alcohol. Yeah, oh, we don't drink alcohol. <laughs> we don't drink alcohol. Yeah, you can drink alcohol without being alcoholic. <laughs> Alright. Right. My journey to what I'm doing now has been like a, I'll say a zigzag. Like going this way, going this way. Sometimes it's straight. I'm like, I know what I want to do. And then I focus on that. And then it, 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 it goes to a point and I feel like I'm lost. Um, uh, just a little backstory. I went to college in Kenya for about a year, and when I was in there, is what was when I was in there. Say what? I did study film and media production, and um, even when I was doing that, I really felt lost because I felt like this is not what I want to do. This is not what I want to serve people with. I do like filmmaking. I like making videos. I like. I'm just a very creative person when it comes to video making. I, that's what I think. Uh, but I always felt like my passion is in healthcare. I want to serve uh, people and specifically I want to work with women. So I decided to switch my major to something different. So if you've been keeping track, I've done film, I've done animation, I've done uh, business and now I'm switching to biological sciences and specifically in biomedical science. I was not really sure what I want to do with biology either. I was, do I want to be a doctor? Do I want to be a research scientist? What do I want to be? I was confused. But to where I am now, I feel like I'm, I have an idea of where I want to go or what I want to do and what my passion is. And today in this video, we're going to be taking you on how I came to that conclusion. As a kid, we're gonna take you all the way back to my elementary school because I didn't grow up in a different country. So I don't have such an exciting back history as my wife does. But all the way in the hills of Encino, California, um, <laughs> that's where I went to uh, my elementary, elementary, Encino Elementary. And um, I always liked science and even even when I was in elementary school and they ask you, you know, draw or, you know, color in what careers you want to be, I always did the science time before college. What do I choose? What kind of... I had to choose 
uh, discipline of science and I'm, I had never even thought of that before. So I thought to myself, what do I think of when I think of a scientist? I think of people mixing chemicals. And so then I thought, I'll become a chemist. So I went down to chemi a chemist and then I learned that that involves a lot of math. And I thought, hmm, biochemistry, my, my favorite. My focus was always to become a researcher, to research. Um, during my undergrad, sorry, during my undergrad, I also did some undergrad research. Um, and I learned about what being in the lab was really like and I loved it. Anyways, so I got my bachelor's, biochemistry, master's, biomedical sciences. But right now I'm in neuroscience. How did I get there? Um, that's just me. I was just thinking, what do I like to, what, what research articles do I like to research, to read, you know? And I really enjoyed reading about the brain, about the neurons, about the neuroscience. And I'm like, let's try doing a neuroscience PhD. Um, so that's my history. I've always been into science. So I, I'm going to cover most of the science topics, I guess. Okay guys, so first, my first advice, very first number one, is to know that um, being confused is good. It's really good because it gives you a moment to think about what you want to do. So the way I've titled this is wondering is important, like going from zigzag, zigzag here and there and here and there, if that's what you're going through. Just know it's important because it's preparing you to get into somewhere that you will like. Um, the reason why we have cities and countries and towns is because an explorer, someone who was very curious and looking for something, found it. So I think like exploration is really good. Get lost here, find something, do it. Uh, if you don't feel like it, do something else until you find that specific spot, that specific something that you like doing that you really love and that adds value to yourself and to your society so to put this in a different different words she's saying um try different things you know try try a job at subway try a job at uh electronics industry i don't know uh, try a job as a welder try a job you know try try different career paths right mm -hmm. and then to try and find the one that you like Number two, discovery. Okay, so uh, still, when we go back to the point of exploration, exploration will lead you to discovering something. <gasps> yes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, careers of like onions, you have to peel, peel. This one, mm, I don't like it. This one, mm, I don't like it. Mm, I don't like it. This one smells bad. <laughs> oh, I don't like it. Until you get to the one that you really like. Mm -hmm. Yes. A few ways to discover where you want to end up is by doing different things like volunteering is very 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 important you know sometimes we want to do things because we get paid and when you get paid you don't sometimes you don't see the motivation you know mm -hmm. because like the inner motivation or your inner value because what you're using at the moment as your motivation is your paycheck the moolah <laughs> The moolah. I've been volunteered a lot. I've volunteered in hospitals. I've volunteered in nonprofit organizations. I have done different things. And how I came to find out that I like working with women is when I volunteered with this uh, organization. It's called Upendo Women's Foundation. And it was founded by a Kenyan woman who lives in California and she's doing amazing work. She is focused on reusable sanitary towels and, and so I was able to work with them. And we visited different schools and I just saw the need in um, the girls and teenagers. Uh, girls who were confused, not being taught really about menstruation and menstrual cycle, feminine hygiene, feminine hygiene, women's health, and I saw the need of uh, like specialist doctors and people who understand the woman's body. Uh, but most importantly, specialists that work with women is really lacking in Kenya. 
so I did that's how like I got to talk to young girls to teenagers and they told me their worries and they told me what they would like to be done differently and from there I just knew I really like working with women um, another thing is internship look for internships if you want to work with big five top five countries in you uh, companies in your country and you're afraid you feel like you're not gonna do it write an email prepare an uh, um, informational interview you know if this is where you like someone you admire like Bill Gates find a way to contact them or their team write them an email and tell them I would like to have an informational interview with you can you spare me five minutes of your time um, and then you have to have something that you want to offer them like uh, uh, like you if you read something about their company and there's a way you can improve it offer it to them and from there you never know the opportunities you can get so that's kind of networking um, right yes kind of what you're saying which is really important in trying to find a job because that's another aspect of finding a career finding a job or, or to, to to do the wandering you have to be able to find different jobs and so how what's the best way to do that networking is a big part of it um just put yourself out there like if they don't if they just have an online application try and go in person and say hey guys i just submitted this online application you know and, and yes put yourself out there in person so that they have a face to the name or that they take more um more of a thought into what your application up into your application yeah so put yourself out there you know always be prepared have your elevator pitch ready you know if you were to meet the person you admire and you had two minutes to talk to them what would you say how would you market yourself um so yeah uh, so internship volunteering um and job part-time or full-time but if you can get part-time go for it do it yes and when you get these jobs, do your best, dress your best, look nice, be presentable, uh, network, talk to your managers, tell them about yourself, your passions. You never know, they might actually offer you a full-time position or they might actually uh, connect you to people that may be able to help you. So what we've been talking about is kind of discovery and wandering. What we're going into, which is number three, is more of ways to help you find what you want to do kind of mm -hmm. right and so this one's entitled purpose what are your values what are your values what do you value yeah what do you value so what did you mean by that okay what i meant by that is how would you like to change the society is there something that you see happening in your country in your town that you would like to do differently or that you think might have more meaning and purpose to the people of your city or your society. I was reading an article that was published about five years ago and it was talking about how women in Kenya have a very, very difficult time having access to gynecology unless they do have money and they're rich and they're famous. But then if they're small people and no, you know, just a common citizen, it's very hard for them to have access to a gynecology mm -hmm. and those appointments they have to book them months and months later and even that there's one gynecology in the whole hospital so if you go in the morning probably you leave in the evening because the queue is really long and there's chances they'll probably never even see you that day you have to come back and come back again so think about your values very 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 because when all else is lost when you no longer have a job, when you don't have a paycheck, this is what you're going to go back to. Your, your values. values. Mm -hmm. That is true. That's, those are good thoughts, baby. The thing is to sit down and reflect. How do your skills align with your values? You know, are you good at making phones? Then what are your values to provide, you know, affordable phone calls, phone, phones to, you know, whatever. Yeah. That's it, guys. That's Thank it. Thank you so much for listening to us. If you have any suggestion, leave it in the comment section. If you have any advice for our viewers, leave it in the comment section. Remember to share our video and share. Tell a friend. Tell a friend. 
and we really appreciate our new subscribers we like comments we like your comments we read them and reply as much as we can yes um and also um we just thought about that the subscribe might not notify you so if you want to be notified of our new videos hit the bell icon so that's that's a thing so <laughs> you can do that too thank you for staying here with us bye guys bye, bye.